Well, hello, party people. It's time to put your hands in the air like you just don't care. Hi again, my name is Mei Leitz and I'm still me. I'm in a very different place, which is strange for me, and I'm still processing it. I guess the first and, uh, uh, thing to mention in this video is that I have recently moved uh, out of state, so it was like a, a whole thing. Still very, very tired from that to explain why I haven't uh, uploaded anything in a little bit. But also, the other reason I haven't uploaded anything in a little bit is because I done did a thing, my friends. I done did a thing. And y'all are gonna hear all about it in just a second. I've always really had a passion for writing. This is not something that y'all should not already kind of be familiar with, I think, because like pretty much my time on the internet has been spent doing weird writing projects and getting like some accolades and criticism for that that I've done. I'm sorry. I've written shit my whole life. Like that's been my big thing. Like if you really want to capture my life, it's mostly just been me writing stuff pretty much the whole time. I've always felt that my passions more lied with the actual written word than uh, say YouTube even or any other uh, <laughs> art form. I've always just went right to the written word and that's probably why I, I've ended up where I am, like, in my life, more or less. But the point of all of this is to say that I, May, have recently written a book. That's right. I wrote a book. This book. I didn't write it with fluids, I wrote it with text, but there's definitely fluids inside. So I suppose that's the big announcement, I have written a book. But, uh, what the fuck book does May Right. Like, what is that? What does that look like? What's that meant to be? Uh, that's a great question. I think a lot of people are asking themselves that question. It turns out I really like kind of the mixture between very high art stuff, heady emotional ideas, uh, um, ideas about like the nature of being alive and things like that. But I also really, really, really like just trash. If I was going to write a book, I would want that book to to reflect that, right? Like I would want that book to feel like simultaneously the best of my high art stuff and the best of my low art stuff. So I kind of feel like the whole point <laughs> was to try and, and make as hardcore a book as I really wanted to without at any point sacrificing uh, for taste, but also saying what I wanted to say and saying it in a way that I feel like is the most direct and even at times like kind of mean and sinister, but still uh, direct. The book is about two women who meet on the internet, which is a great place to meet. Nothing has ever happened that was bad on the internet. Of course, it is a horror book, so it goes great for them. They get together rather fast, maybe too fast. They didn't know all the things that they maybe should have known about each other. They didn't know about each other, how hardcore the other one was, and then it just goes ape shit from there. You, you take two nightmare people, you put them together, and you got just bundles of fun. So why did I write this? <laughs> this shit. Why did I write this? On one hand, I felt like I wanted to tell a story about the modern queer experience in a way that I felt like other people weren't really... And this isn't to throw shade at other writers. I feel like there are a lot of writers that are writing about queer issues that, that definitely get it. But I will say that I've also read a lot of books by cis and hetero authors uh, that are about the queer experience and don't quite capture it super the best, like perfect. So I wanted to make a book that was about the gross and awful truths of being queer on top of the regular truths. So like you get the emotional stuff, but also there are these like really 
kind of uh, stark and shocking emotions that end up in there too. I feel like where a lot of people that aren't inside the perspective want to tell these stories, they don't really want to tell the stories to their difficult truths, more their shocking truths or their progressive truths. So that's not to say that I don't think that progressivism in writing is good. Obviously I do. And I would consider, I would say that I tried to be as progressive <laughs> as I could with this. But also, at the same time, I think that people need to be told exactly the situation for many people. While I will not say that this book is literal, like I wouldn't say that the things that happen in the book are literal, but I mean, if you're looking at it figuratively, which I'd like to hope you are, uh, as the writer, I suppose, then I think that you'll probably uh, pick up on the fact that a lot of the book is about those sort of difficult truths of queer relationships. It's written weird. Uh, that's that's like something people are gonna probably comment on. It's very stream of consciousness, but also very blunt. You're hearing from the character's perspective and their thoughts on it, but also you're hearing the way they would cater their thoughts to someone else. Like if they were trying to tell this to somebody else, there's, there's a directness to it. Uh, I, I don't really like a lot of description, which isn't to say that I, I find it like unnecessary or anything. I, I think it is extremely necessary, but if we're talking about um, the characters as people, I think that it's more about their difficult thoughts and their relationship to their environment and other people than it maybe necessarily is about the room that they're in. So the book is rather short, like 160 something. 160 something. <laughs> and there's no fluff. I, I didn't put anything in here that was like extra shit. It's just directly the story. It is disgusting, this book. Uh, it is, it is, it is bold-faced nasty. <laughs> so why is the book nasty? Uh, why did I write a nasty book? May, May, why did you write a nasty book? I wrote a nasty book because for the last couple of years, this is all I've pretty much done research on. Like, this is- y'all have watched my fucking YouTube videos, you've seen what I've had to research, so I personally would love to process, like, some of the difficult shit that I've experienced in the last couple of years, that I've seen, uh, experiences that I've had that I felt like genuinely were fairly traumatic. I- I can make light of these things and- and paint this as, like, a friendly thing, but- but I will say that there- there- there's a lot of, like, serious difficult trauma stuff in this book. It's not, and I don't, I'm never gonna sugarcoat it for you. It's just gonna be right there. Uh, I think that it's much better to just like have to deal with it uh, in the same way that a person dealing with it would have to deal with it. A very specific, it's a specific kind of person. I, there, there, there are two very specific kinds of people in here. And I, I don't necessarily mean to stereotype in any sort of way, but I, I more mean that like, I feel strongly that I live kind of in, in, in this world of these two people. And so I understand sort of their self-destructive tendencies. I also really understand their, their anger. I understand their eating disorder. These are things that I, I very much understand about, about the experience of being alive. Again, I feel like these are things that are often written about but not understood. So more or less, I wanted to write about every gross thing that I genuinely understand. A temptation to make your writing more enjoyable, perhaps, or more... I, it makes me sound like I'm saying this book sucks. It doesn't suck. It's just, it's just mean. It's just a mean one. And, and I feel the need, I think, to stress, especially like to my audience, that this one's difficult. It's not easy. I, I wanted to write a book that genuinely would fit well on those lists of very disturbing books. I feel like nowadays we have the opportunity to tell more difficult stories. Stories that are often not heard in our worlds. Like, one big problem is that we, we've only really ever heard specific queer stories because those are the stories that kind of get published, uh, that get written, that get finished, that, you know, they'll get the notes and the editing, but it it won't tamper with the the, the deeper, like, hard stuff for the necessity of publishing it and it appealing to as many people as possible. With our new DIY times, I DIY'd this thing. 
I did not go through a publisher. I completely self-published. Hired an editor. Uh, Megan Cubed is my friend. I had her edit this book for me. Uh, over the course of time, I did. we did several edits, but the last one was hers. I went through a separate company for formatting. I designed the cover and and all of this stuff myself. And at the end of the day, I also printed these and am signing them all myself. I am not going through any really major distributors. I'm not, you know, this isn't gonna be a Penguin book. Uh, this isn't gonna be seen in a store, probably. Uh, maybe one day. I was thinking about it, and I genuinely don't know if that's really the way. Like, I don't know if, if, I don't know if Amazon <laughs> is really the way forward for writers. I've been feeling this way for a while. It's just a matter of like, yes, it's convenient. Yes, the book is out there. Yes, people can just buy it if they want it. And yes, that's a better way to kind of quantify the possibility of it charting or something like that. But I don't really care about any of that. Like, I don't really want my book to necessarily be a New York Times bestseller. I don't really care even all that much about sales. More than anything, I want people to be able to read it, but I want people to be able to read it in a form that I personally am happy with. I have the opportunity in this moment to be specific about how I want this to, to get into your hands. I do have an ebook up, uh, but I'm gonna just say directly, I feel much stronger about the actual printed book uh, I, I, I love this. Like, I love having it. I love holding it in my hands. I love getting boxes of them and signing them. It's great. Uh, so far, pre-release copies of this book have sold 300 copies. So 300 people have purchased this thing. Over half of them, I feel like, have probably read it by this point and have told me they enjoyed it. While I don't have a general knowledge of like whether or not it's a good book or whether or not people like it. Uh, I, I also don't necessarily care. It's, it already exists. I made it myself. I put my blood, sweat, and tears into it. I said exactly what I wanted to say with it, and I've been spending the last probably year getting this ready for you. Like, the last year. Maybe some of you are not super into the idea of reading a book written by me, but if that's something you are interested in, you deserve to know that I put every goddamn bit of my love into this. So, lots of love in here. It's a hateful thing, but lots of love in general. We have this opportunity for DIY nowadays. I think we need to start taking it more. Uh, I make my own like DIY CDs and tapes and shirts and shit too. If there's anything I learned doing all that, it's that it's genuinely way more satisfying to make a shirt and then give it to somebody. Just, just, you made it and then there it is. It feels like a return to like when art and patronage was such a direct relationship. And, and of course, I've never lived in that era. That's a, that's a bygone era for art. But I think we do have the opportunity to get a little bit closer now than maybe we ever did before. So I'm, I'm like really stoked about the possibility of doing that. Like that makes me genuinely very excited. I'm almost more excited that I got to DIY this thing than anything in the book. <laughs> like I'm so excited that I, that I did this myself. So. That said, I'm not all that fucked about sales. I'm not all that fucked about it charting and being a New York Times bestseller or some bullshit like that. Here's the, here's the scoop. As of right now, as of the time I'm posting this video, uh, there is an open pre-order. Uh, it is below in the description, there's a link. The book is gonna be $16. Uh, if you want one, you can buy one. You can do the open pre-order and I will be signing literally every copy. I apparently only sign books nowadays. It's, it's, that's what I do with all of my time. <laughs> Just sit, sit here and sign my little book. So there is an open pre-order. I'm, I'm probably gonna limit it to like a, a thousand-ish. Like, I highly doubt that a thousand people will want this. Yeah, I'm probably gonna cap it around there if that gets too extreme. If you would like a copy, go ahead and pre-order one, and I will be placing the general order for copies on May 1st, and then I'm probably gonna start mailing 
sometime after May 10th. So let's call that the the big release day. Like, I did a soft release on Twitter, got, I mean, 300 people got it, but this time, yeah, lower price, bigger release, and it's going to go f- to everybody. I don't want this to be 20 bucks. I want this to be, you know, accessible to people that maybe d- can't afford that. So 16 is my, like, is, is, is like what I can do for DIY. Hopefully that works for you. Uh, there will be, yeah, an open pre-order. There is a link below. Uh, you can also pick up the ebook on Amazon and give it a read. But again, I vastly prefer the printed version. You are, if, if it's more about, I just need this information just right into my juicy ass, then you go ahead and get that ebook and go, go nuts. We're gonna do like a big giant mail party. We're gonna order all these books, get them in. I'm gonna sign them all. We're gonna all bag them up and mail them to you. Uh, including other little goodies and all kinds of stuff. It's, it, uh, if you've ever gotten anything from my, my web store, I always put a lot of like effort into the packaging and stuff. I'm, I'm like really excited about this y'all. Like this is what I've wanted to do my whole life. Like to be real with you, this is what I've wanted to do my whole life. I have made a career, whether I like it or not, of commenting on other people's art, like talking about other people's art all the time, constantly making reference to art. And I think a lot of people out there think, oh, well, May is so introspective about other people's art. Surely whenever May decides to actually make some art, it's gonna fucking rule. Well, here it is. I did it, okay? I did it. And no, I didn't make a movie, but movies are expensive, okay? And and it was COVID, so what did you want? I, I, I sat down, I typed this one up. This is my, like, real first attempt at, like, Hi, storytelling from me. Thank you. Like, oh my god. Like I can't I can't even begin to thank you. First off for buying the book. If you are buying a book or did buy the book, like big old thanks. Thank you for literally supporting me for this long for me to like make my dreams come true and and have a book in my hands that's mine. Like what the fuck, dude? Like if it were up to me and and my like just in my life, this, I feel like this was like unattainable and it was forever away. But for some reason, with the marriage of, of everybody's support, moving, you know, getting a lot of genuine help from people who are, are genuinely better than me at, at this, like genuinely way better than I will ever be at this. Those people's advice has been crucial to me and has completely changed my life like I have a book now like that's nuts to me please let me know what you think of it please give it decent reviews on goodreads maybe I don't know do people use goodreads and also is it going to influence you know sales because it's not going to be really something people can just go get so gosh what else to say I guess like and subscribe if Y'all ever want to hear more about, like, sort of the process, like, the writing process for this book? Um, I've been considering, like, making a video about how this happened. More or less, it, it is fairly simple, to tell you the truth. It, 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 was, it was simple. I think the thing that I learned the most, not how hard it is to publish a book on your own, but rather how hard it is to ignore all the voices inside your head that are terrified that you're gonna fail. You've gotta genuinely learn to just tune that out and tune that part of yourself out so that you can end up in a place where you have a book in your hands. I've been considering uh, an audiobook. People have been talking about the possibility of me doing that. Anyway, I feel like I've rambled enough. Thank you for being here. Like and subscribe. I'm going to have like genuine actual content to you soon. I've been thinking about it and I have ideas, big ideas, things that I think I've been needing to do for a long time, like um, like a series perhaps that brings in, you know, a lot of this stuff that I've been talking about over the course of the years, but kind of consolidates it into one place. But now that I've moved, now that I'm more settled in, now that I got this book done, uh, I I can focus, I think, on a lot more of my art and a lot more of my content. So you'll probably be seeing a, a lot more of me uh, very, very recently or soon, whatever. I, my brain, let me tell you, don't hold it against me, okay? When you read this book, don't think that I'm just like dumb in here. I'm, 
I got a, I got a mind. Anyway, okay, <laughs> so thank you for watching this video about my big announcement. I'm gonna go to sleep. Just kidding, I'm gonna go back to work <laughs> doing more book stuff. So I'll see you later. I sure love ya, and yeah, there'll be more content soon, kids. Bye. You pre-order my book, okay? If you pre-order my book, I'm gonna be so happy.